Hello everybody, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. It's about that time. Let's go take that walk and see what's in the fridge today. Hello everybody, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. Today's beer comes from Stone, uh, actually it's a collaboration between them, Tin Barrel, Blue Jacket. So all three of them got together and did this beer. This is, uh, and Stone does a lot of collaborations uh, over the course of the year. Uh, this is their Suede Imperial Porter, and this one was bottled on 091013. So this one was done back in uh, September, and it is a fairly good sized beer, coming in at 9.6% ABV. Got the bottled on date right here in, uh, in a light colored uh, bottling date code. Uh, it's either white or yellow. Very easy to read with the beer in there, so Stone's got it going on. Uh, uh, Mitch Steele, the head brewer out there, uh, very nice guy. I've, uh, is one of my friends on Facebook and he travels all over the place uh, uh, doing different things for Stone Brewery but he's uh, he's got it going on a uh, very nice fella very down-to-earth guy and of course uh, the beer Jesus uh, Greg Cook uh, uh, I mean I don't have anything bad to say about either one of those guys uh, they uh, they do beers right uh, most of the stuff I'd say 99.9% .9 of them are very tasty they do do some stuff out of the box, but usually it's a pretty tasty beer. Uh, I don't think I've had a bad beer from them. Not very many if I've had one. Uh, and, and it would only be, it wouldn't be a bad beer. It would be a beer that uh, was not uh, in my style, which is usually in the IPAs and the porters and the stouts. A lot of the brewers do a lot of the out of the uh, out of the box styles and and use cucumber and, and a lot of other different stuff that I'm really not into but uh, a lot of people like that kind of stuff so that's why they brew them uh, this one I, I, got, I got this one from uh, pretty sure this one came from uh, Lucan's Liquor uh, I don't think anybody sent this to me I ordered this one and it came in and, and they sent it to me uh, this says here on the label ale brewed with Caladinula flowers, that's probably misspelled, probably uh, butchered that all up. Jasmine and honey. Uh, I don't think I've had anything from Tin Barrel. Yeah, I'll take that back. I think the, if, no, I didn't really say the Eclipse maybe from them, but I think it's 50-50 uh, brewing from them. So I don't think I've had anything from Tin Barrel or Blue Jacket that I can recall. So, uh, let's get on with this one. I don't want it to be a 20 minute video. The commercial description on this one, due to our participation in at least a half a dozen collaborations each year, one might perceive uh, Stone as the craft beer equivalent of a bee fitting indiscriminately from one brewery to the next, all while drawing precious nectar, precious, precious, precious nectar, the expertise and creativity of those institution brewmasters. Another buzzy operation that gets the same rap is Blue Jacket, a new Washington, D.C. based operation headed by industry veteran and con constant collaboration Megan O'Leary Pars Parisi. But make no mistake, Stone and Blue Jacket are intensely selective about the con contemporaries we invite into our brew house. <coughs> We look, for, we look for the same high levels of passion and daringness to flip a beer style on its head that we employ on a daily, it says daily, but daily basis. So when per Parisi and Stonebrew Master Mitch Steele decided to collaborate it, it was essential that they tap a special individual to complete their triad of fermentation domination. And they found just that in Tanya Cornett, the brewmaster at Bend, Oregon's Tin Barrel Brewing Company. Together they decided on his 30 yet velvety base 
of the Imperial Polar and developed a plan to collaborate the bounty of the environs in which it was produced by harvesting avocado honey, jasmine, and caladula flowers from one of our very own stone farms and fusing them into the beer to create something complex and uniquely Southern Californian. Consider it a craft cross-pollination at its finest. Well, yeah, very nice. Uh, don't know if I've ever had any Caladuba flowers. Uh, this beer, this beer food pairings, uh, the cuisine is barbecue, cheeses of buttery brie, gouda, havarti, swiss, and since it is a porter, uh, goes well with your chocolate dishes. And the meat is beef, smoked meat, and grilled meat. Glass first pint, becker, the nonic tumbler, mug, stein, a side ale. As you know, on the porters in the south skies, I like using the Duval glass because the shape of the glass enhances the aromas with the tulip shape. Uh, the beer says not recommended for sale or salary unless the ABV exceeds extended range. Well, being a 9 point, what did I tell you, 9 point, 9 point 6, it's hard for me to see, 9 point 6 percent ABV. Uh, this beer is going to keep, I, I can't think of a reason why you could not sell her this beer. Um, don't think there's anything else we need to discuss. We've gone through the commercial description and the food pairing. So without further ado, let's get the cap off of this one. I look forward to doing these beers, especially from Stone. And this is a collaboration. Three different brewmasters have combined their talents and uh, come up with this beer. And I've seen uh, a lot of people that have reviewed and a lot of beer reviewers uh, and usually like this beer. There are some people that, that did not. Let's go down to the center and see what we get. This is a bomber. It's a 22 ouncer. Wow, look at that. Almost a 10 percenter and we got a good two fingers of head on that pour. Wow, very nice. Over into the light. I'm not getting any red ruby tinges around the outside. It almost looks like a stout in the glass. Yep, very black. Well, let's get a nose on it and see what we got. Oh yeah, smells very sweet. I do not have the IBU listed on this one. A little bit of chocolate, a little bit of coffee. Dark fruit. Dates, raisins, figs, plums. And since I don't know what the flowers are supposed to smell like, it does have a floral aroma to it. But very sweet smelling, not getting any alcohol on the nose. It tells me it's a very well made beer, which most of their stuff is, if not all of it. Caramel and toffee. Very interesting. A lot of a lot of things going on in this beer with all the stuff that they put in it. Got a sweet smell. I'm getting a little bit of the honey. Wow. Smells very delicious. Let's give it a taste. Cheers, everybody. Definitely has a bitterness to it. Definitely getting the, the flowers in there. There is a, uh, a flower aspect of it since I've not had that flower or tasted that flower before. I am getting some floral hops and I am getting uh, almost, uh, let me taste it again. It's almost like a honeysuckle taste to me. Not so much chocolate in the taste. Coffee, tobacco, which reminds me, this probably go well with a cigar. It does have a bitterness to it, though, but it's not overly bitter. Very interesting with the flowers that they put into this. Almost has like a honeysuckle daisy taste to me.
awesome lacing left in the glass. Very tasty, but I don't know if it quite fits into the porter style, even though it's a very dark beer. It's a unique beer, I'll put it that way. But with the flowers and stuff and, and the honey, it's a little on the sweet side, but it's got quite a bit of bitterness on the back end to try to balance that out. I'm kind of on the fence on this one, guys. Let's let it warm up. It's 40 degrees. I'm sure it's going to change a little bit. Hopefully for the better. And we'll come back and do the final check on this one. All right, guys. I'm back. Got just a little bit left here. Been sipping on this. Shared the other half with the other half. She loved it. Of course, she likes all the dark beers. It has a nice bitterness to it. And the flower honeysuckle taste is there. Not getting a whole lot of chocolate at all on this beer. The coffee, tobacco, little dark fruit, caramel, toffee, honey. Very nice, very tasty. Final show. Delicious. Don't know if it quite fits into the style category, but a very nice collaboration between these three uh, brewmasters. Well, wow. it was tasty. It was very tasty. It does have a strong bitterness back in to the beer. But it is still very, very nice. Uh, guys, uh, I don't think it's quite to the 10 category. I'm going to give this, even though it's got the date on the bottle, I'm going to give this, if I was judging it in style, I would probably give it probably a 7, which is a B plus. But judging it on the overall, I'm going to give it an 8. Overall, I think this is an 8 beer, an A-. minus. It's definitely an A beer. It's got the date on the bottle. There are a lot of uh, Imperial Porters out there that have a nice, sweeter, cho more chocolatey taste than this beer does. Uh, nonetheless, it is an awesome beer. Uh, definitely worth picking up and giving it a try. If you see this beer, pick it up, give it a try. Uh, it's very tasty. I hear my butler back here in the background saying I've got mail. That's not a ghost back there. That's just the email program running. And uh, uh, Incredimail has that little butler notification thing that tells me I've got mail. No ghost in the house as far as I know. I've lived here over 30 years. Not seen any yet. So, might be a ghost chili or something in the refrigerator. But uh, no ghost as far as I know, guys. Uh, very tasty beer. I like this beer. Uh, they do some good stuff at Stone. Uh, wasn't overly impressed with it, but it is definitely a nice representation from three different breweries coming together and making a collaboration beer. Very tasty. So I'm going to stick with the 8, which is an A- on this beer, guys. So let's go see what everybody else thinks about it. We'll go over to Beer Advocate first. If I can get this thing to work. And they say 86, which is in the very good range. I agree. It is, a, it is a very good beer. A little low on that side as far as the numbers go. If I was putting a number on it, I would probably give it a between an 89 and a 91. Very tasty. Very tasty. We'll go over to uh, Rate Beer. And Rate Beer says 96 overall, which is a very impressive number. But. They only have 67 in the style, and um, that's a very low number for the style. I would, if I was grading it like they do, I would probably give it, like I said, I would probably give it, overall, it is a good beer. Uh, I would probably give it uh, A minus, which I would say between 90 and 92. But in the style category, I would probably only give it probably an 85, maybe between 83 to 85. Uh, not quite enough chocolate in taste to me for a porter 
But that's that tastes are subjective. I mean, you may think it's the best thing you've ever tasted, or and yet again, you might think uh, I, I don't like it at all. So beer is subjective. Uh, the taste, what you like and what you dislike in a particular style of beer, uh, it depends on where your palate is at the time and what you've had before, and all that kind of stuff, guys. So. Uh, I enjoyed it. It was definitely a tasty beer. I don't, I, I don't know if I would buy this beer again. Uh, there are some Imperial Porters that are a little more tasty as far as I'm concerned. A little more chocolate in a scent to it. And I keep going back to the chocolate in a scent to it. Because so, a lot of your Porters and Stouts have that chocolate aspect to it. And this one, it seems to be lacking in the chocolatiness. So I don't know if they need to put a little more chocolate malt in there or, or, or what there, guys. But I didn't get hardly any chocolate in this beer. It does have the tobacco and the roasted malt and a nice different taste with the, the flowers that they used in this beer and the honey. But it was very pleasurable. The Like I said, the other half loved it. And I did too. That's why I gave it the 8. It is definitely an A beer as far as I'm concerned. So... If you've had this one, give me some comments back on this one, whether you liked it, didn't like it. I did like it. It just didn't quite get up to the uh, A or the A plus, uh, the 10 beer. So uh, let me know what you think of it, guys. Hit that like button, rate, comment, subscribe, and let's go see what's in the fridge tomorrow. Hopefully it's an A beer. Join me then. We'll see you together.